When did you last read a good science fiction novel? Well, I just read one, The Sirens of Titan. This is the second novel that Kurt Vonnegut published. It came out in 1959. It's a very, uh, yeah, I've read a lot of Vonnegut, and this is, my understanding is that his earlier works are much closer to genre science fiction than his later works. So, for example, Cat's Cradle, which came out not too much later, several years later after this, but it tends to get classified as a mainstream novel with science fiction elements rather than a science fiction novel. But this, The Sirens of Titan, I mean, even the title has a moon of Saturn in its title, is definitely straight science fiction, although I wouldn't call it hard science fiction. There's not a, a lot of it doesn't rest on scientific advances or new things that were new, although it is keenly aware of what was going on in politics and science at the time. Dr. Vonnegut is not ignorant of these things. I wouldn't say he's a fantasy writer. He is, he's aware of the progress that was being made of science and the space race and things like that. This book takes all that into account. What this reminds me of a lot is Robert Heinlein, which is strange because, I mean, first off, Heinlein, who was one of my favorite authors in high school and middle school. I've, I think I've outgrown him a bit, but at the time I admired his, uh, the way that he looks at the social effects of science and uses science fiction as a platform for alternative living situations, messing with taboo and things like Stranger in a Strange Land and Farnham's Freehold. I think that Vonnegut does a lot of similar similar things, and even his writing style is kind of stripped down in a way that, that is similar to uh, Heinlein. Although their politics, I would say, are quite a bit different. I'm not gonna go into the details of that completely. What I get most from Vonnegut and his books is compassion. That's like his big theme is forgiveness, compassion. Even these horrible people deserve compassion on some level. Everybody deserves some level of compassion. It's a very Christian, without being Christian, without bringing Christ into the matter. It's more about what Christ said rather than worshiping Christ. In that sense, it's Christian. I like Vonnegut. I think he is one of my favorite authors, certainly of the 60s and early 70s. I haven't read much of his books after, I think Breakfast of Champions. Breakfast of Champions is the latest well, no, I did read God Bless You, Dr. Kevorkian, but that seemed like a lightweight book and not a novel. So his uh, stuff like uh, in the late 70s and 80s, I'm not familiar with, and I would at some point like to read into those. But diving back to Sirens of Titan, this book is a wild romp. In, in some sense, it's a time travel story, a character similar to Kilgore Trout in uh, excuse me, not Kilgore, Kilgore Trout, um, Billy Pilgrim in, uh, what's it called, Slaughterhouse-Five is scattered through time. There's a character in this book just like that. Well, not just like that, it's a little different. But uh, that allows Vonnegut to deal with questions of fate. And this is a theme that seems to come up a lot in my book reviews, the idea about eternalism, fate, what control we have, whether the future is written already or whether it remains to be written. I think Vonnegut's main take is that the world is settled. We are ultimately out of control of our lives and the best things that we can do are just be nice to each other. And I can relate to that and understand that, whether eternalism, fatalism is right or not. I think that's something that we can all agree with on some level just how the process of we go about doing that is up for debate. What's interesting about this book is that it focuses on a few characters and beyond those characters, the world at large is almost like a stage set. It's set up and it's there, but it's hardly even seems to be filled with people. It's, it's just crowds are crowds, groups of armies are massive groups and there seems to be almost a lack of personality within them. It allows him to focus in on the characters. It may not feel totally realistic, but I still like this book. It was good. And even though I could see some of the things coming 
some of the things I couldn't see coming. I didn't know some of Vonnegut's tricks, having read enough of them by now. I think this was, if this were my first Vonnegut, I would be a little more surprised and taken aback at where he was going with the book. It's a book full of ambiguities and mysteries, and that's what I like in fiction. I think that allows for more nuanced thought about what it means rather than supplying easy answers. Vonnegut leaves you with scores of images that are just puzzling and you have to think about what they mean. And the, the image of the sirens of Tyron, the Titan, these three women that the main character thinks he's gonna eventually arrive at on the, the planet, I'm sorry, the, the moon of Titan, what it actually turns out to be, and I won't spoil it, is typically Vonnegut. It's bittersweet and it's unexpected and I like that. It's, I don't know, if, you, if you've never read Vonnegut, this is a good place to start. Cat's Cradle is probably still my favorite. Slaughterhouse-Five is also very good. I wouldn't say maybe this is the first tier level of Vonnegut novels, but this is maybe second tier Vonnegut, which is still very good Vonnegut. I put it up there with like Mother Night, uh, God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater, what else? Breakfast of Champions, great books, just, uh, yeah. It's a light rate, weight read. I think I read it in three or four days. He's, his, he uses a very simple vocabulary. Occasionally though, he'll insert a word, word that is, uh, I do have to look up like gimbals. When he describes the alien, how his head rests on gimbals. I'm like, what are gimbals? So when he does include it, it's, it's an effect that is noticeable in it forces you to look up some words. But overall, he has a simple style. Maybe you could compare it to uh, Hemingway, if Hemingway were funny. And Vonnegut is funny. His dialogue, his scenarios, the ridiculousness of you know, our human predicament is what he's all about. So if you're interested in any of that, I'm aware that uh, Douglas, uh, what's his name? The, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams, I don't know why I was blanking on that, it's my name, uh, was uh, influenced by this book quite a bit. He liked how haphazard things seemed in the book on the first reading, but on a second reading, it all seemed to come together perfectly. So maybe one day I'll read it again, not right now, but I wouldn't mind at some point in seeing how tightly knit Vonnegut had structured the book. It's a good book, check it out. The Sirens of Titan. Thank you.